This is Thomas, and this is his Aunt Clarissa. They both live in the European Union. Aunt Clarissa remembers a time when the continent was very different from what it is now. People needed passports to visit their neighbours. And in some countries, citizens needed their government's approval to leave the country. For Thomas today, it is all very different, like half a billion fellow Europeans. He does not need a passport to travel around the Union. In fact, if he wanted to, Thomas could even decide to settle in another EU country to study, work and live. Thomas knows that this freedom of movement is a fundamental right for each EU citizen. But what Thomas probably doesn't realise is that a lot of work goes into ensuring that he and his fellow citizens can enjoy this right in safety and security. A lot of work and a great deal of cooperation between EU countries. Yet, building an area of freedom and security without internal borders is not an easy task. The lack of internal borders should not mean that there is no security within the Union. It's why the EU countries have to work together to manage the external border, while still making it easy for foreign tourists, students and businesses to come and see us. The EU is facing up to the challenge of greater international mobility by developing a common immigration policy to better manage legal immigration and encourage the integration of immigrants into their host countries. This goes hand in hand with the need to curb irregular immigration and stop human trafficking. The EU has not forgotten the people fleeing persecution or war either. It provides a safe haven for those who are seeking asylum or other forms of international protection. Although Thomas, like most Europeans, is able to go about his daily life in relative safety, all of us have to face up to the real cross-border security threats, such as international organized crime, cybercrime, terrorism, as well as natural and man-made crises and disasters. These are issues that are a concern not just for Thomas, but also other citizens and businesses in Europe. That's why there is a common approach to tackling these problems across borders and jurisdictions. It goes without saying that in addition to collaboration within Europe, dialogue and cooperation with non-EU countries is essential in all these areas because global issues need global solutions. For Thomas, it is now clear no one country can meet the challenges of increased global immigration or tackle the threats of organized crime on its own. This is where the EU has a role to play. <laughs>